this is Jennifer. Today I want to show you one of the basic steps needed to create a product in Shutterfly and that is how to upload your photos. Uploading your photos is the first step into creating photo book, a calendar, um, cups, anything like that. So let's get started. So I want to upload my photos because I want to create a photo book. So I'm going to choose a type of photo book and you can shop by occasion or size and Shutterfly has several themes for you to choose from. Kind of just look through them, find one that you like. Um, you'll see these S's. Uh, this is called the storytelling style. Uh, it's a, an additional $5.99, but it offers you a lot more versatility in creating unique photo books. Um, you have a lot more options to choose from when you choose the storytelling style. I like it, so let's go with that. Um, before we can upload our photos, we first need to pick the size of our book and the type of book cover we want. Of course, the bigger the book, um, the more expensive it is. So let's just stick with the 8, eight by 11. <clears throat> okay, so as you can see, Shutterfly asked me to add my photos. So I want to click Add Photos. And I have several options to choose from to upload my photos. I can take photos off of my computer. Um, if I have uploaded, uh, I have a Shutterfly account and I've uploaded photos in the past, I can access all of those. Um, if you have a share site, uh, this is really cool. I have one of these. It's a website where I can up my, upload my photos and share it with my friends and family to a specific website where they can go. Um, and it sends them notifications when I've updated it. And then Facebook, Instagram, and Flickr are also options for you to use. Um, again, be careful with using these social media platforms because the resolution of the pictures may be a little bit downgraded. It won't be as nice as ones coming from your computer or ones that you've uploaded to Shutterfly. So let's kind of just click on it just so you can see. Um, so I click My Computer. So I want to select photos from my computer. And basically, it's like uploading anything else. I want to click on the picture. If I want to add multiple pictures, all I need to do is hold down the control key. Okay. And then they're uploaded. So I can select them all. If I decide, oh, I grabbed too many of the same picture, I can click on it and that check mark goes uh, to black from orange so that means that one will not be uploaded so once I've decided that okay that looks good I want to click done now that I've selected my photos uh, Shutterfly asked me whether or not I want to place the photos myself in the book or do I want Shutterfly to place the photos I actually prefer to place the photos myself because it gives me a little bit more options um, into the way I want to arrange my pictures and customize them, um, but you can also have Shutterfly do it. This kind of speeds up the process. Uh, Shutterfly looks for similar dates, um, so kind of groups them together and layouts that you know they think looks good. Uh, you can always go back and um, customize those pictures, change them out if you want to. Um, so this is also a good option if you're kind of in a time crunch and want to just get those pictures in the book as quick as possible. So I'm going to place the photos myself. And you, as you can see, Shutterfly puts the pictures I chose down here into this tray so that I can go through now and um, insert the pa pictures where I want. Well, I think I need to get some more pictures, so let's go ahead and add more photos. And let's try another one. Um, so let's do Shutterfly Photos. I've uploaded several albums already, so you can search by a timeline, an album that you've created, if you've tagged people or places in your pictures. Lots of op options to choose from. So I'm going to click my folders and you can see all the pictures that I've uploaded um, so I want to go ahead I can click see I've gotten that orange uh, check mark which means it's selected so I want to click done and I want to and I want to put it in my photos tab which is that tray along the bottom okay so it throws it right down here 
Now let's try another one just to kind of show you. Let's try Facebook. Okay, so for this to work, you need to use photos um, and connect to your Facebook account. So it's going to open up a Facebook box. And everything looks okay. So I will click OK. And it will bring up all of the photos that I have uploaded to my Facebook page. So here you can go in and open an album, find some of the pictures that you want to add. So I'll just select a few here. Again, I'm holding down the control key to select multiple pictures. Okay. And then I'm going to select done. Again, I want to throw them into the tray at the bottom. Okay, so now I've showed you several different ways that you can upload your photos. Now to insert them into your photo book, basically um, once you have your layout chosen, which if you look over here on the left hand side, there are several different layouts that you can choose from. <coughs> so you just go ahead and pick one and it is as easy as throwing your layout out there and pulling and dragging from your tray up into your book. See? And if I decide, oh no, that's not the picture I want, just click this X, it goes back, and I can choose another picture. One more quick tip before I go. If you want to edit the picture, say I want to crop it, I just want to click on that picture, and I have this little crop box now that I can adjust to exactly what I want to fill that square with. And down here you can add some effects. Um, you can change it to black and white, vintage, a lot of different options for you to choose from. So I'm going to choose the vintage and click done. And now you can see that it's blown up that little portion of my picture. Now if you're really creative and you want to get into more details and making this photo album your own, I highly suggest using the customized path route. And if you want to learn more about that, please check out my video. Uh, you can find the link in the uh, comments on my uh, YouTube page. Um, and that will kind of guide you through custom being able to customize um, each one of these pages individually um, and kind of making them your own. So I hope you learned how to upload photos into Shutterfly and uh, have a great day. Good luck creating your photo book.